Happy Wednesday. So I was sitting here and um, I've been blessed to work remote, to work from home permanently. Um, and it has just been such a blessing to me because prior to, I was in such a toxic um, work environment. And, um, and what got me through that work environment was the word of God. In Colossians um, 3.23, it tells us that whatever we do, um, we are to do it without our heart as we're working unto the Lord and not unto man. What does that mean, Brooks? That means that if you are in a situation and your boss is mean or um, manipulative, dishonest, um, not trustworthy, if your boss goes against the biblical principles of God and how we're to treat one another, you still got to serve. You still have to submit. You still have to honor. So regardless of what that person is doing, and it's not just for your boss. This is for your peers. Um, this is for anybody on your job. We're going to focus on jobs today, but this is life. But we're going to talk about jobs because a lot of us work. And, and if you are working for someone and they don't honor you, they don't value you, they don't respect you, guess what? You still have to work for them as if you're working unto the Lord. You cannot do tit for tat. You cannot go on strike. You cannot act like the world. You have to be set apart and you have to demonstrate God's love for that person through your actions. Guys, I was in a situation for years. Years. I had to go to work every day. Good morning. Yes. I got it. I got you. Whatever. I got you. I had to submit to it. And I had to submit to it with a smile on my face. With a smile in my heart. I would cry out and I would say, God, I know you got better for me. How much longer are you going to let me, your child, be mistreated? How much longer are you going to let me suffer? You can ask my friend. Oh, we talked about it all the time. And finally, um, God freed me. Gave me a new opportunity. And I look back on it and I'm pleased at how I behave, the way I act. I really am pleased by that. So I tell you this, if you are in a situation and it's, and it's uncomfortable for you and you're not being treated how you should be treated, um, you got to serve that person as if you're serving the master himself. You can't, you can't do what the world does. You can't show out and act a fool on that job. You got to be submissive and you got to submit to authority because at the end of the day, that person is in authority over you in the natural. But God is in authority over you in the spirit. So you're going to have to go in that job and, and, and pray that thing through. You got to birth that baby in this season. I pray you guys catch it because a lot of the times Christians, people of faith, people that know God can dissolve mountains. God can throw you some dirt down in a valley to allow you to climb up out of there. But sometimes we let our flesh take over and we want to do tit for tat. We can't do that. You got to do something new this year. You can't be believing in God and praying that God frees you from this situation, create a way of escape, and you acting like the people that's doing it to you. So you need to do a self-evaluation and say, God, what am I doing in this situation? Am I them? Because you can't move to the next level or your next, you know, blessing or opportunity if you acting like the people of the world. If somebody comes into your job and they can't tell that you are the man or woman of faith, that's a problem. That's a problem. So I really want you to evaluate your behavior, how you're acting, how you're treating people, and make a change. 
And for the ones of you that are doing it, that are pressing forth, that are submitting, that are that are showing love regardless, keep pressing. Keep pushing. Keep believing. Keep petitioning. Because God is going to shift some things. And you're going to get an opportunity um, probably to come across that person again. And guess what? You're still not going to mistreat them. You're still not going to talk about them. You're still not going to gossip about them. You're still going to show them love. Because that's what we're called to do. So, again, remember what the word says. In all things, whatever we do, we got to do it wholeheartedly. As if we're doing it unto the Lord and not unto man. Y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful day. And it is my prayer that this word penetrates your heart and that you apply application to it and that you begin to see a shift in your life because you are operating differently. Have a good day.